Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are in episode 2 of this PC Burn Simulator 1 series. I haven't got a name for it yet, but comment down below a name for the series. So today we are building in this mini NZXT case. Looks similar to, to uh, this one over here, which we did in, in episode 1. So let's just take this whole case apart and get let's get started I like to take absolutely everything off just bare bones even this so first thing first thing we need to see what CPU would want uh, don't know if we'll go for low end high end or mid range Yo, let's go for i9-9900K, which is a LJ1151 Coffee Lake. So let's search for that. Um, let's use this ASRock Z390 Phantom Gaming ITX motherboard. Which doesn't look that bad in this case. open up these as well okay let's put the CPU in which is the 9900k put some thermal paste on that <coughs> put some thermal paste on that memory let's use that let's use Corsair Vengeance again uh, 3600 which is what we used last time but we can only use two of these which means 16 gigs of RAM. Should we really pair 16 gigs of RAM with an i9 i9? Okay. Ah, let's do it anyway. Uh, for the CPU cooler, we can uh, go with a liquid cooled one. So we could go with probably the one we went with last time, which is the H11. Uh, yeah, let's just go with this one instead. Is it too big? No? We need that bracket don't we? Okay, the RAM sticks are in the way But we can't do any more Is there one with one fan or something? Because you really don't want to go be going with air cooled on this CPU. Type liquid cooler. Yeah, definitely don't fit. You know what? Let's just go water cooled. Why not? We're able to fit one of these in. Yes, but we need. Oh, would it go? With... No, don't think so. But we need that beauty panel. Reservoirs. Oh, let's go with. Yeah, let's go with that one. Will we get the cable? Yeah, we could probably put the cable up there. The, the cable? The holes. Or pipe, whatever you want to say. Yeah, it's a pipe. So we've done the CPU, the cooler, the motherboard, the memory. Let's do this M.2 SSD. Power supply, we could go with a 850 watt. I think that would be good. Obviously Corsair. They're my favorite. We just went for semi modular. Oh, whatever. It should be fine. Cables are going to be black as well to match it. Um, 
fans for up for up here. We could go with could go with the, uh, these ones again. Because I really do like these ones. And now it's graphics card which we should get the RTX 2080. Would this one fit? Nope. We need a little one. Which I'm thinking. Are we able to get a water cooled one? Nope, these are still too big. Change of plan. Let's get that smaller one. This one still can't fit, but uh, this one still can't fit. But we might be able to put this one, which is also a good-looking graphics card. Looks good. And now we just need to wire everything. Out. This is going to be RGB. We could do this type of hoses and stuff. Let's go U to U to you see uh, it does that we can put you guys together like that and now we just need to get the the rigid one which we can bend ourselves and make it go over here is that going to be our first problem there you know Let's try to squeeze it back here I'll just do this And I'll see you when it's, when it's done Okay I think I did it Doesn't look the best but Oh wow now we just need to connect everything in that should be all done we could also connect the the hdmi is the hdmi or is it display i think it's hdmi could be display though right now we need to put coolant in it which we could either do clear coolant or we could just do a colour um let's do a clear coolant that should be good that's looking good Nice little computer there. We could start putting the other stuff on, like the back panels and stuff. Can't fit them on there. This filter. Is there one for the top? I think this is for under here, yep. Yeah. Uh, front panel, that can go back on. Bay cover goes down here. This goes back here. Now the last thing is to put the front panel on, but we need to make sure it works first. So let's put in the USB cable. Let's put in the USB and turn it on. The CPU is good. We're not going to be overclocking it this time. We'll be overclocking one eventually. But let's do this. Actually, yeah, why not? Let's um. Five point two gigahertz, just a tiny overclock. As we are water cooled, should be fine. We might have to check it. 
But I'm gonna put all of these on. There we go, that's what it would look like in Rainbow. That looks actually good. So every build we do is probably gonna be Rainbow, but we'll, we'll just have to see in the next ones. So let's close that. Uh, run the benchmark and see how it does. Okay, that's not a good thing. Blue screen, which means we overclocked it a bit too much. Okay, there we go. I'll put thermal paste on it. And I changed the pipes to black pipes. Then the coolant to black coolant. To kind of match the whole theme. Except from the graphics card, it's uh, still very silver. But let's try it now. Okay, it still does it, so... It wasn't a thermal paste. Okay, it's got further than before, which is good. So yeah, it was just, it didn't like the overclock. Okay, it's finished the benchmark, and this computer got 10,760 points. Which is actually good. So yeah. This computer right here has an has a i9, 9900k, 16 gigs of RAM, and a, GT, a GTX. RTX 28 GTI. So yeah, that's been it for this video. If you did enjoy, smash that like button, and I'll see you all in part three. See ya!